as they continue to be. Uh, I really, really appreciate, in particular, all of the presenters who lent their expertise and their time here today, and all of you uh, for joining us here as we pass this 10th anniversary mark and look forward. Uh, the comforting part for me is my belief that uh, we have a lot of folks in the same boat with us. Uh, I just saw Mike. Oh, there he is. Uh, Mississippi and Louisiana certainly are attached at the hip. Uh, what happens to us is going to happen to them and vice versa. Uh, when we had the events of 2005 and then in 2008, Gustav and Ike, and Ike I forget where it is on, on the all-time chart, but it's one of, one of the top ten and a biggie. Well, what it did to the Texas market, it did to ours at the same time. There's no separating. Uh, I mentioned earlier about Connecticut and the challenges they're having up there, a good example of how this is really not just a Louisiana problem. And the factors that going forward uh, impact our, our development, our continued recovery. Uh, the, market, the market has challenged insurers on their investment side to where they can't take the same risk that they took back in the good old days, pre-2008. Uh, what Congress is going to do going forward with the National Flood Insurance Program? The fiscal hawks are demanding actuarial rates and getting the government off of the substantial risk uh, that they have taken on over the past several years. So factors way beyond our control are affecting our future. But uh, as Richie mentioned earlier, uh, the cost of flood insurance, the cost of, of wind insurance in our area, it's the price we pay for living in paradise. 